back to the Hit Squad. He's Jesse Finney. I'm Chad Range. Now, last week, Jesse, in your absence, uh, Ryan Sutton sat in with us, and we got a question from the Knuckle Junkies about uh, fighters that are wanting, you know, that are on the brink of stardom. And, you know, you're there in these leagues, I mean, much like the Shamrock Fighting Championship League, and, and how do you get there and what's your ultimate goal? Ryan and I talked about it, and we really came up that with, you know, if it's your ultimate goal, really, it's kind of money-driven. But if it's your ultimate goal to get in the UFC, these feeder leagues and where you want to be, uh, well, we got a guy who's going to be fighting in one of these, like, you know, feeder leagues that is really on his way to stardom. He is a four-time All-American wrestler. He's going to be fighting in the Resurrection Fighting Alliance coming up on Axe TV. It's happening this weekend in Denver. Again, Andrew Sanchez, are you there with us? Hi, guys. How's it going? Good, good. Now, uh, you're getting ready to fight Todd Meredith. Talk about, you know, being uh, being on the stage and really on the brink of uh, stardom. Um, I'm extremely excited. This is the first time I fought on national television. You know, I was originally on the prelims, and then all of a sudden they're like, hey, we switched you to the main card. You're fighting on TV. I'm like, wow. You know, it's all kind of happening so fast. Um, but it's a great time. I'm out here in Denver. Um, I'm on point, ready to go. I'm getting this, this last bit of weight off. Um, so I, I'm ready to get out there. I'm ready to win impressively. I don't want to grind out a victory. I want to finish this guy and make a statement. Um, because the people that need to see me are going to be at this show. Uh, the RFA is a great platform for upcoming um, fighters. And it's a plat platform for uh, people to get into the UFC. So um, this is a big opportunity. I'm definitely going to make the most of it. Andrew, how do you see this fight going and your advantages with everything you got going? Um, I think I'm better than this guy in every way. I think his biggest um, asset is toughness. And when you got call a guy tough, it's just a good. It's a nice way of saying that he's not that skilled. You know what I mean? Uh, this guy can take it, and I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it to him. You know, as much as he wants, I'll give it to him. I want to take him down. I'm going to pound him, and I don't think there's anything he can do to stop it. He knows I'm a wrestler. He knows what I'm going for. Um, but you know what? The the only issue is um, the altitude. That's my only enemy here. Um, that's the only way I see myself um, struggling with this fight. So um, my, my game plan is to go in there, you know, pace myself, work my way into the fight. Um, and even if I smell blood, not to rush anything. You know what I mean? Just keep a knife, even pace, and work them, finish them. I'm seeing them. Um, I think I'm going to stand on the feet a little bit, box them up, get the takedown. I think I'm going to pound them until he gives up a submission, and I'm going to take it and game over. And he's going to be fighting in Mile High Country, Denver. He's Andrew Sanchez. He's on the line with us. He's fighting Todd Meredith and the Resurrection Fighting Alliance. It's coming up this weekend. Now, Todd, talk about your training camp. And uh, obviously, four-time All-American wrestler, you got the ground game. Uh, was there anything in your training camp that you were uh, working on uh, in particular for this fight or just in general? Um, I, typically, I just work in general. I, I try and find the best guys around in St. Louis. Um, recently, I've been working a lot with Jesse. And Jesse's great with uh, transitions and putting everything together. And, and that's what I think I was missing in my game. Like I was a very good wrestler, uh, jiu-jitsu, you know, straight jiu-jitsu, straight, decent straight, you know, straight boxing. But I was having trouble putting it all together. You know what I mean? Boxing to my takedowns, um, uh, punching to my passes on the ground. Um, and that's what I've really um, improved on. And that's going to make the difference. I feel very, very dangerous, very fluid. Um, so, yeah, um, like I said, Jesse's been helping me a lot with that, and I appreciate that. Um, I also appreciate all the gyms in the area that's been helping me, you know what I mean? <laughs> because all the gyms in St. Louis have, uh, you know, taught me taught me a little something. They all, they all got their own spin on things. So, um, But definitely this camp I've been working on, putting it all together. And that's what it's all about. It's not, you know, a, a boxer versus a wrestler now. It's who's the best mixed martial artist, and I feel like that's what I'm becoming. Andrew, I hate to look ahead, but after Friday night, after you get a victory and everything goes the way you want it to be, what do you got coming up next, and how long do you see yourself before you get into the UFC? Man, I don't know. I'm, I'm ready to uh, keep fighting. That's all I know. Um, um, it, as fast as possible. You know, I, I don't know. I can't say when I'm going to get in the UFC. That's not my decision. But when, um, when, when they think I'm ready, I'm ready. I, I'll fight tomorrow if I had the opportunity. So, um, like I said, if I if I win impressively and I continue to do so, I think it's not going to be um, uh, it's only going to be a matter of time. So yeah, yeah. I, I'll probably take a week off after this fight um, and get right back to training and, and try and find another fight ASAP. 
Well, that's great. And I wanted to just say, this is a follow-up question kind of from last week. Ryan Sutton again I and I were talking. Uh, is there any appeal to maybe, what if Bellator, you go out in Denver, you just make a, name, a statement for yourself, make a name for yourself, and they come to you. If, for a fighter like you on, on up and coming, is the UFC the end-all, be-all? Or if Bellator came at you with something good, and I became a fan of Bellator when I saw their championships uh, this about a week or two ago. Uh, is, is there any chance for that? Or, I mean, do you kind of have to get with your management team and kind of decide from there what the best option is for you? Yeah, I mean, Bellator is definitely an option. It's a great organization, and it's something I'd have to talk about with my manager and coaches. Um you know, I hear good things and bad things about Bellator. Um, but obviously the, the end-all, be-all is the UFC, but beggars can't be choosers. You know, if they Bellator wants to sign me, it, it'd definitely be a possibility, you know. Um, I don't know if i jump right into a contract. I was talking to uh, Will Martinez, the guy I'm staying with uh, today. He fights with Bellator, and he says, hey, you can sign a one-fight deal and see how you like the organization and this and that. And then, um, you, you, you can work out, you know, your own kind of contract if if they like you and you're you're you know an impressive fighter and they're chasing you, so it just all depends on the situation. But Bellator is a great organization and yeah, that's definitely an option. You know, Bellator, UFC, um, World Series of Fighting, um, even RFA, they're all great organizations. I, I think that what you're trying to say is basically you got to keep your options open and you know what, we'll see how it's all going to play itself out at the end. I mean, yeah. I don't think you can really close doors at this point. Uh, and at the same time, I think we all know there's no secrets the UFC is the biggest organization oh, yeah. in the world. But at the same time, you also can look at it and go, hey, you know what? There's other options out Absolutely. there, and you got to explore them all. Absolutely. Exactly. Well, Andrew Sanchez, we appreciate you taking a moment and talking with us. We look forward to your fight against Todd Meredith. That's happening on Axis Television this weekend. All right, guys. Thanks for having me. It's a Thanks. pleasure. Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate it. Another big name might be coming right out of St. Louis. Uh, I know the knuckle junkies were saying all the good fighters are coming out of Kansas City, but all of a sudden, Tyron Woodley, we got this guy, Andrew Sanchez. I tell you what. Hey, let me tell you something, man. If you don't know Andrew Sanchez, you will. You will. <laughs> um, the kid is in the whole package. I mean, I think that before he was known as a grinding wrestler, and uh, he, he, he's a great grinding wrestler, but I think right now the kid is actually – uh, putting the whole package together. I mean, he's learning how to punch, to the takedowns, takedowns, you know, to jujitsu. I mean, he is the kid is the kid's amazing, and man, he is an absolute beast. He is the best kid in St. Louis that is not signed. And I tell you wow. something, man. I mean, this kid is um, this kid is the real deal. I look for huge things from this kid. The sky is the limit. I mean, it really is. And you know what? We all know you can be a good athlete. And you can be a good you know hard worker. At this the kid is everything. And the kid is a worker that is a good athlete. So I look forward to big things from him. I've been in fights in Denver, and I have seen guys run out of gas. And it, it, it and you take those same fighters and you put them somewhere else, and it's totally different. Is is that something that, I mean, he has to Absolutely. get out there? And, I mean, is well, he out there he, now? Yeah, he went there on Monday. He went there on Monday for that reason, just to, Absolutely. you know, try to get it, a little more acclimated yeah, to absolutely. it. Absolutely. Burn the lungs up, see what he can do. But uh, let me tell you something, man. I mean, it almost, it's, it's got to work some mysterious ways because there's nobody in St. Louis that's as good a shape as this kid is in. <laughs> so, so if uh, there was one guy you could uh, send, he would be the... He would be it. Absolutely. Well, that's interesting stuff. I, I love that, and I, I know I kind of tied in the knuckle junkies, uh, because I thought they had some great uh, questions last week for Ryan and I, and I knew that you would have something to say because they were kind of tied more into maybe management style when you're talking about dealing with fighters. And we're going to be tackling the Knuckle Junkies question coming up next on 101sports.com.